Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to install the peep side. We've got our rest centered up, we've got it square, we've got our loop on there. So we're going to install our peep sight. The next thing we're going to do after we install our peep sight is actually put our sights on and we're going to be ready to start shooting this bow. So to install your peep sight, you're going to need to press your bow. This is the best way to do it. And like we talked about earlier, I'm not going to show you how to press this bow just because there are certain ways to press each bow and I don't want you to tear up your bow and I don't want to show you the wrong way. So I'm not going to show you how to press your bow, but if you don't have a bow press, this can be done cheaply at a pro shop. If you want to do this yourself, uh, consult your manufacturer and buy the press that's appropriate for your bow. So we're going to show you real quick how to install this peep sight, and more importantly, we're going to show you how to serve this in. Installation of the peep sight isn't the biggest thing here. What we really want to show you is how to do a serving. Uh, so if you've got a peep sight that's already installed on your bow and your serving comes loose, you can actually serve this in. So what I'm going to be using is I'm going to be using my bow press, I'm going to be using a string separator, and I'm going to be using a uh, serving tool. This is a serving tool, it's a BCY serving tool, and it's got BCY serving right in here, a black and white BCY serving. So everything I buy is BCY serving, BCY loop, uh, it's some of the best stuff on the market, it's some of the best, most durable stuff you can get. So we're going to show you here real quick how we do this and how we install our peep sight. Now when it comes to choice of peep sight, there's a lot of different ones out there. There's the G5 and there's string splitters and there's, there's peep sights with tubes on them. There's peep sights that split your string and have big holes in them. There's a lot of good, a lot of th good things to say about all these. Some of these you have to get perfect to rotate around. Some of them will rotate around all the time and always be perfectly lined up. So do your research on the peep sight because this is really going to help your accuracy. Do your research on the size, try some different things out, and choose the peep sight that works out the best for you. What we're going to be installing in today is this G5 Meta Peep. This is a 3 16th inch peep, and this is what I'll be using for hunting. Uh, so we're going to get this installed real quick. Okay, so you guys are going to do your own, um, put in your own peep sights and going to press your bow. The best way to do this is to press it for a couple different reasons, so you can actually get that string uh, slack in there so you can put your peep sight in there. Another thing is, is it's going to help you to service because when it's down here, your serving tool is actually going to hit your cables. So this is a good way to get it up here where you can actually use your serving tool. A tip that I can give you guys is I've got an old carbon arrow shaft here that I cut down that I've got a knock on one end. What I've got it is I've got it set right down here up against one of the rollers on my bow press and I've got it right up here on my string. And it's actually pushing my string up and when I go to do my serving, I can now put my serving tool on there and wrap my serving tool right around. So when this bow's not pressed or this string's down, I can't do that. So we're going to show you how to install this peep sight real quick, and then we're going to show you how to serve it. Okay, so putting in a peep sight is really simple. I've got a multicolored string, so for me, all I have to do is separate the two colors, the black and the brown. If you don't have a multicolored string, you're simply going to have to try to get 50% on each side. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my serving tool, and I'm going to insert it right in the middle of these two strings. I've got black on one side and brown on the other. I'm going to slide it down. Right here is about where I want my peep sight. And I'm going to insert my peep. All these peeps are a little bit different so I'm not going to cover exactly how to install this G5 because you may not be using a G5. And that's all there is to putting a peep sight in. Just separate it, get 50% on each side and drop your peep sight down in there. Now there are some that take take uh, multiple, uh, they have three slots in them instead of two. On those, you just separate it to where you have 33% or a third of your strings in each one and just have to get it as close as possible. So now you've got your peep sight installed in there. The next thing to do is serve this thing in. You want a good tight serving on this. Now this is the most important thing of this. Even if you're not going to do your own uh, peep sight, this is how you not only serve your peep sight in, but this is how you serve your string. So if you ever need to serve uh, any part of your string, this is how you do it. Okay, so just for the purposes of showing you how to tie this knot, I'm going to do it once without my uh, serving tool. What I'm going to do is I'm, I've got a piece of, uh, I'm going to take a piece of tape. I've got a piece of um, string loop here. I basically went about a third of the way down and folded it down so I've got a loop and I've got a long tail. I'm going to put my loop on here away from my uh, my peep sight. So I got my peep sight here. The end that's looped would be down here away from the peep sight. I'm going to take a piece of tape 
Any kind of tape will work. It don't matter what it is. I'm just using black tape because it's what I got handy. And I'm going to tape that loop right there to the string just to try to keep it in place. Now, the longer of my free two free ends, I'm going to do the same thing to. I'm going to go above my peep sight, take a piece of tape, and I'm going to tape that right there to my string. So I got it like that. Now, imagine this attached to a serving tool. So uh, we're just doing this this time to, to show you how how it's done, and then we'll do it with the serving tool to show you how it's actually done. We're just trying to show you the knot right now. You can do this in either direction. I prefer to go on the opposite side away from me. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm coming up here, and uh, I'm just going to wrap it right around. And imagine this being the serving tool. You wrap it right around, and each one of those lines will be... Each one of those uh, wraps will lay right next to the other. So you'll get you'll get six or eight wraps on there, maybe even ten if you're doing a peep sight. And uh, if you're reserving a complete string, you know you'll just reserve the section that you're uh, that you're wanting to reserve. So once you've got that done, I hold everything with my fingers, pull off the tape on your loop end. You don't have to get it all the way off right now; just pull it loose. Take the tail that you were wrapping around the string and put it through the loop just like that so it's through the loop keeping your fingers on this as well as you can to uh... to keep tension the loop isn't important it's the tail that's important so we've got our tail run right through the middle of our loop now our long tail that we had earlier this is the reason why you're going to want a long tail is because you're going to be pulling on this and you're going to need the leverage when we do this with the serving tool this is going to be very tight so i'm going to pull that long tail and when you see my loop that I ran my tail, my short tail through is closing down. That's going to pull it right together, and what this is going to do, it's going to pull my tail right up under the rows that I tied earlier. I'm holding on to it now, but it pulls my tail right up under the loop that it, um, the wraps that I put on there earlier. So now that we've got it pulled underneath there, and if you don't have, don't pull it all the way underneath there, it doesn't really matter as long as it's up underneath there this knot is going to hold it so I've got a little bit of tail sticking out on both ends I'm going to take a lighter and be careful to stay away from your string this serving is going to melt pretty quickly and I'm going to, I like to pull it up away from the string and I'm going to take that lighter and I'm just going to melt that right down to the string both ends just like that and that's how we serve it. Now, I'm going to cut this off of here real quick, and we're going to do this with a serving tool. But that's how your knot is supposed to be tied. Okay, this time we're going to do it for real. This time we're going to use our serving tool as well. i got a, a section pulled out of my serving tool, and I've got a long tail here. What I'm going to do is just fold that down into the loop like we showed before. Tape my loop down. And then I'm going to tape my tail in down as well. And once I've got that done with my serving tool, I'm actually going to roll up all this slack that I've got here. And starting right about here, I'm not going to roll up all the slack. I'm going to leave just a little bit. I'm going to put that, lay that right next to the other tail, and I'm going to start wrapping it around. I'm going to get one or two wraps with it still loose, just to get it started, and then I'm going to start pulling it tight, just like that. Now I'm going to pull that slack up out of there, and this is the key, like we talked about earlier. The, hard, the key to this serving tool is to get your tension set correctly. You don't want it too tight that it's actually twisting your string all up, but you don't want it so loose that you have to sit here and hold it. You want it to just be able to turn just like that. I, now I am holding my string. I've got my peep sight back here. I'm going to add, add a, take a little bit of tension out of this. There we go. Just like that. You want it to just roll right over without coming completely unwound on you. Just like that, when you get a uh, pretty good section of serving on there, I've got about 12 or 14 wraps on there right now, which is a little bit more than what I usually put on a peep site, but I wanted to show you guys uh, pretty well. Pull your serving tool down and hold on to this end. I'll, what I'll do is hook my pinky in there just like that, and uh, that way my serving tool doesn't fall. 
but I'm holding on to this end up here and I'm holding on to it real tight because I don't want this tension up here to come off. Take your scissors, cut that that away. Now ah, you know what the pinky's for. I'm just keeping my serving tool from falling. So slide your tape back off your loop end. Now, and this is the hard part. I, I'll squeeze the this section right here with my thumb and forefinger in my left hand while I'm because I'm letting up slack on my tail. I'm gonna run that right up into my uh, loop in and now I've got my tail again in my hand I'm gonna let that go and I'm keeping ten I'm keeping this tight right here so got that done now I'm gonna pull my long tail out from my tape and this is exactly why we left so much on there it might be kind of a waste but if you try to skimp on this you're gonna learn real quick how hard this is to pull through here and the reason I run away from my I serve away from my peep site when I'm doing peep sites is because when I'm pulling it's gonna pull that serving right back up here into place if I'm pulling the other way, it's going to pull that serving down. This serving is going to move when I pull this. And it's going to pull that serving down away from my peep. And then it's going to be locked into place and I'm not going to be able to move it. So with my tail, my long tail, I'm just going to start pulling. And you see that popped right through there. And it slid right up into place. Now it didn't move a whole lot. And you can, you can try to push that up on there. But just like that. You got a little bit of space there. It's still holding your peep sight good and tight. Take your scissors, snip that off pretty short. I'll snip a little bit off of this tail end right here, just like before. Take my lighter and burn both ends, being careful with my string. Especially this area here because our string is cut in half, so you don't have a whole lot of room for error there. You don't want to get that flame near it. just like that and now our peep sight served in you do that top and bottom now if you want to do this over a long area you do the exact same thing and just run it over uh, a long area like if you were to serve this section down here where your arrow knocks then you would do the exact same knot just over a long longer period you can practice this knot very easily and you'll be able to serve in your own peep sight